Hello, if you are meeting for the first time, I am Bushra and on this channel, I add videos related to testing and more importantly, on the trending tools and techniques related to testing. If you are a tester, this could be your guide to enhancing your testing skills. So do subscribe to the channel and share with others who might be interested as well. Welcome back to the series on Cypress. Today we'll learn how to work with external files. So one of the most popular ways is by using fixtures. Fixtures are basically files containing some data that you would like to use in your test. These files could be of type JSON or JavaScript or regular TXT file or maybe a CSV or an image or HTML page and so on. Let's have a file created to be used in our project. So the default location to place these files is in the fixtures folder which is under Cypress. So we'll create a JSON file. Let the file hold the credentials for logging into the application. We'll now create a copy of our basic script. Now, to use the data from this file, we'll use cy.fixture command. This command takes in the name of the file or if your file resides in a subfolder under the fixture folder, then you have to provide the path. So ours is user login details. Now if our file had been in a subfolder under the fixtures, say called users, then we would have written user slash and the name of the file. Okay, so cy.fixture yields the contents of the file and so we'll use then command to work with the content. Now let's move this bit inside here. Now instead of hard coding the email, we could have user dot email and similarly for password user dot password because we had email and password as the keys here and so that is what we are using here let's run and see if this works So it's working all good but this approach is fine if you want to use the data from the fixture file at a single place but if you want to use the file data multiple times in same or different test then a better approach would be to move the fixture command in the before each hook so let's do that so I'll just create a copy of this And here we'll create a before each hook and note that you can access this code from github uh, the link will be in the description box this. and we'll just move this bit up here we can remove this and we will create a variable and we 
and we'll use this variable to hold the contents of the file and we don't need this here now right and instead of user we'll use user details so now if we have if you need to use uh, this email and password elsewhere in some other test as well you'll be able to do that simply by using user details email and user details password you could also use alias here so let me create a copy again so then we don't need this then dot s and let's call it user and now to access email and password we will we can use this dot user and this dot user dot password we don't need this variable as well and there we go let's run this and see there great okay so now with cy.fixture command we were able to read the contents of the file now if you would like to write something to the file we have a command for that as well write file so let's create a new script let's call it read write file okay so let's start by writing a first test which will write something into the file so for that we are going to use cy dot write file write file this command has two mandatory parameters file path which starts from the project root and the content you want to write to the file so let's call our file sample file dot txt and the content be hello world okay so because we don't already have a file called sample file dot txt so a text file with this name will be created for us and the content we provided that is hello world will be put into the file so let's run this and see. Let's collapse this. So we have a file created for us. It's called samplefile.txt and it holds hello world. And also note that this file got created at the project root level. Now, if you want to add another write file command, let's say here we add another one. And this time we provide the content. it got executed let's see what our file holds well it just says I am Bushra but we expected hello world also to be there isn't it so what happens is by default the file contents are replaced with each write file command in case we want to append the content of the file without removing the previous content then we need to use a flag The flag would be A plus. So this would append the contents of the file. Let's also add 
a new line character here. Let me just run it again. Great, this is what we wanted. Now we have seen to read a file, we could use the fixture command, but there's another way to read contents of the file as well. And that command is read file. Read file command reads a file and yields its contents. So if you want to read the file that we just created, we could use cy dot read file and it takes the name of the file basically it takes the path but because our file is at the root of the project so we can simply write the name of the file this will bring you the content of the file and say if you would like to verify that the content contains hello world then we could use dot should hello world let's save it and our read file command passed so our file indeed contains hello world now there are two major differences between read file and the fixture command the first is file path parameter so for read file the file path starts from the project root whereas for fixture it's the fixture folder under cypress and the second most prominent difference is that if you skip the file extension, then fixture command would search for the file in the fixture folder and pick the file based on this sequence. Whereas the read file command won't do that. It will give you an error if you miss the file extension. So we can try that out. If we remove this extension here, save this file. And now it gives you an error saying fail because the file does not exist at the following path this so i hope you found this video helpful